Welcome to the Risers Hub. I'm your host and life coach, Nicole Hodges, here to guide you through the holiday roller coaster. Today, I've got five unwrapped nuggets of wisdom to help you navigate the twists and turns of this season. Get ready for a sleigh ride of practical tips as we tackle the holly jolly chaos together. So grab your hot cocoa, cozy up, and let's slay this holiday. <laughs> let's go. Let's talk about the holiday season and everything that comes with it. Family, parties and get-togethers, money, travel, gift giving and receiving, cooking, decorating, a loss, or a new family and or friend dynamic. Now, <laughs> did any of those things make you feel a certain kind of way? Like, did it make you feel anxious or even really happy and excited? Well, <laughs> today I want to share five things you can do to get through this season. Because according to the statistics and studies, only 10% of us, 10% of us are not stressed. Now, I'm sorry, I was a little shocked when I saw that. So according to Harvard Medical and Psychology Today, 80 to 90% of us are stressed out. 40% mm. of healthcare workers, 37% of office workers, and nearly 50% of retail workers experience high anxiety during this time due to longer hours and working with those 80 to 90 percenters. You notice you, you notice you. <laughs> Okay, so let's dive right into these five things. Now, not only do I have five things to share with you, but I also created an acronym. I love acronyms because it just helps me remember things. It helps me summarize my thoughts. And I'm hoping that it can help you um, have a little bit of peace of mind during this season. Okay, so let's get into it. Number one, acknowledge your feelings. Now, I listed about, I don't know, nine things earlier. Which one of those things rattled your feelings? I mean, you know, did it make you really, really happy? Did it give you anxiety? Did you get excited? Uh, does it make you sad? Either way, think about the ones that really affected you and don't hold on to your emotions. That's the first thing. Don't hold on to your emotions. Write them down, remember what they are, and then find a safe person or persons to have a conversation about it. Uh, they can probably give you a different perspective, um, help you come up with solutions to navigate through things that, I don't like to use the word trigger because I'm not a therapist, but things that do trigger you during this season, they can give you a different perspective and help you move forward. It's not good to hold on to feelings because those feelings can pop up later. And if they pop up later, they can be worse. So let's think about what's rattling our feelings, write it down, talk to someone, and try to move forward the best way you can with the solutions that you come up with. Number two, set realistic expectations for yourself. I think every coach whether it's physical, mental, or spiritual, will always tell you to set realistic expectations for yourself. Now, in this particular list, it means no one to say yes and no one to say no. It's just that simple. Delegate those holiday chores to other people. Don't overdo it and ask for help. And please don't feel guilty because you can't do everything. That's where we get really caught up in our feelings. When we say yes to everything and then we can't do everything and then we feel guilty because we can't do everything. We're only human and there are a lot of people out there who can actually help us. So you're going to have to let go of your ego and you're going to have to delegate the work so you can get it, get it done more effectively or efficiently. Okay. Number three, Remember the me in Mary. When I read that, I was like, oh, I like that. 
So the me and Mary means, and this is not a selfish act. This is self-love. The me and Mary means that you are the most important person in your own life. I said it. You are the most important person to you. So you got to take care of yourself. People need someone who's full and not someone who's running on fumes. So if you're running on fumes, you're not going to be effective, not only to other people, but you're definitely not going to be effective for yourself. So remember the me and Mary, which takes us to number four, back to the basics. Go back to the basics. What does that mean? That means getting enough sleep, exercise, and eating well. So right when you're starting to feel overwhelmed, things are getting a little bit too much for you, slow down, look at how you're sleeping, exercising, and eating during this. I know, I know, I know. Right now you're like, Nicole, I have so much to do, and the kids are, and the hubby is, and the boyfriend this, and the girlfriend that. I get it. But like I said before, the me and Mary is so important. And you have to be a full person to help other people. So at least seven hours of sleep a night. Not six, not six and a half, seven hours of sleep a night. Exercise, 150 to 300 minutes a week, which narrows it down to 30 to 60 minutes a day, five days a week. That means you get two days off, two days, two whole days. <laughs> but, you know, mix it in there. Don't, don't be like an eight to five with your workout. You know, give yourself a Tuesday, Thursday off so the other days you can work out, okay? And again, exercise is not hitting the gym all the time or going for a run. It's just pure movement to get you out of the house and to move. Or if you're in the house, move Okay, get your get your body and blood flowing. Okay. Next, eat well. Yeah, eat well during the season. And I don't mean the Christmas food, folks. I mean eating your three meals a day full of fruits and vegetables, drinking a lot of water, and getting the right amount of carbs and proteins. If you don't know what that is for yourself, Contact your healthcare provider or your nutritionist and have them help you eat well. And number five, find your soothing squad. Find your people. Now, according to New York's The Well, your soothing squad are those who can hear you, they can see you, and they have no trouble listening to what concerns you. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you happy. And they want to see you joyful. That is your people. Find them. It can be two people. It can be three people. It could be 10 people. But if they make you feel good and you make them feel good when you're around them, those are your people. Now, I'm going to go through them one more time just so you can remember. I'm not going to go through every little detail, but the top five are one, acknowledge your feelings. Two, set realistic expectations for yourself. Three, remember the me and Mary. Four, go back to the basics. Five, find your soothing squad or your people. Okay. All right. So. The way I summarize all this stuff up and to help me remember it, I like to create acronyms. So I took the word holidays and made it an acronym. Okay, H is honesty. Being honest with yourself, knowing your limits. Right back to setting realistic expectations. Be honest with yourself and make sure that you know what you can do and what you can't do which goes right into the letter O. O is for open to the word no. Please say no when you absolutely need to say no. And stop saying yes so much. Yeah, I said that too. Because we just get so overwhelmed by saying, yes, I can do this and yes, I can do that. And 
realistically, can you? So be open to the word no. L is for loving yourself first. Again, this is not anything that's selfish. This is not narcissistic love. This is loving yourself first by taking care of yourself first, okay? I is I can only control what I can control. So if there are things that you can control right in front of you, all right, cool, take care of it. But if you can't, let it go. Absolutely let it go. Do not have any anxiety over it or frustration over it. If you can't control it, it's not your worry. D, deep breathing. When I used to teach fitness classes, and even now when I do my life uh, courses, I have people breathe in deeply and breathe out as much as they can. So we would breathe in the positive and we will blow out the negative. So you have to think of one thing that's positive, breathe that in, hold it for a few seconds, and then just blow it out of your mouth until practically your tongue is just hanging out. Breathe all that negative out, okay? A is going back to number one, acknowledge your feelings. Understand that you are a person, There are things that will make you feel anxious, and that's okay. You're you're only human, but also acknowledge your feelings and what you can't control, again, let it go, okay? Why is for the word you. You are the most important person in the room. You need to take care of yourself first, which goes right into S. S is for self-care. Going back to the basics, not getting that pedicure, manicure. I know what you want to do, but I'm talking about going back to the basics of seven hours of sleep, exercising five days out of the week, 30 to 60 minutes at a time, and eating well. Three full meals filled with veggies and fruits, drinking a lot of water, and getting the appropriate carbs and proteins. If you're not sure what that is, again, talk to your healthcare provider. Now, I told you that I was excited about this season because I'm changing it up for myself. So every month this past year, I have been traveling. Traveling for myself, traveling for family, um, and traveling where I'm needed. And I love to travel. I'm not even going to lie. I enjoy it. But I was a little bit overwhelmed by the airports and the taxis and the Ubers and the this and the that. So I really want a very quiet, peaceful December. So I decided this year not to travel because why? I know my limits and I just can't get on a plane right now. There's just And after I saw the number of people traveling this season, I I think I've made the right decision. Um, My gift giving is going to change. I do like to give gifts. I like to create them and make them, buy them, send them off. But this year, everyone's going to get a gift card in their email (laughs) or their text messages. I'm keeping it that simple. And then um, instead of spending time with a lot of family and friends, I'm going to spend time with just one or two uh, family members and two or three close friends. And I think I'm going to be okay with that. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm human like everybody else, and I'm learning a lot through life like everybody else. So even though I love doing life coaching, I do um, receive life coaching from a life coach. And I'm a little nervous about being somewhat alone this holiday season, but I also get extremely excited about it as well. So, you know, going back to acknowledging your feelings, I acknowledge the fact that, yes, I'm really nervous about being on my own this season, but I'm also really excited because I need quiet. I need the peace (laughs) and I need the joy. I really, really need that and I, because I, I, I love being happy. I love seeking happiness. And I think this is, let me, let me back up. I know this is going to bring me happiness. So that's what I'm practicing this holiday season. 
And uh, for you, I do wish you a very Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate during the season. I wish you well. I wish for you and your family to be safe, happy, and move into the new year with just pure joy. So until next time, there will be a next time. Uh, Happy holidays. Bye. If you're enjoying this podcast, I would like to ask you to please subscribe, like, and share. That's what they told me to do at the end of this podcast. So could you hook me up? Thanks. Bye. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Remember, this podcast is meant for both education and entertainment purposes only. I am not a licensed therapist, so it's crucial to consult your physician, psychotherapist, or qualified health professionals for personalized advice. Until next time, take care. It's one thing to be stressed during this season, but if you're struggling so much that it's painful, and you have suicidal thoughts or thoughts of hurting yourself, please call the crisis hotline at 988 or text HOME to 741-741. Get the help that you need now. We love you.